we are going to start with doing basic um, procedures. So let us begin by learning how to run a frequency distribution. And the frequency distribution procedure is, all, is, um, is going to help you to get a general picture descriptive statistics. So if you want to generate descriptive statistics, you do have to utilize the frequency distribution procedure. And you generate a frequency distribution by clicking Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. And you go ahead and click on frequencies. So here I am going to be using the age variable. It's the only variable that I've named so far. So let me go ahead and use age. And automatically there are certain statistics that are selected. Mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, as well as the mode. Um, I'm going to select the median. So mean, median, mode, maximum, minimum, standard deviation. And as I said, no, I'm going to click on charts. And, um, that's one way to actually get charts. You can get a pie chart, you can get a bar chart, you can get a histogram, right? Um, but go ahead and click continue. Um, I don't necessarily want any charts right now. I also don't want to include any missing values which are empty cells, so I'm not going to click on that. And also, I have my frequency table. I want it in ascending value, which means from the lowest value to the highest. So that's how the frequency table will be arranged. And I'm going to go ahead and click paste. When I've clicked paste, like I said, what has happened is that the value is now um, the, the command that was generated is now in my syntax file. So here you see my syntax file. And you see the command that was being run on age. There you see it. And so in order to run the um, command, I'm going to use my cursor to select and click run and I want to run selection because only the, the, the command that I'm highlighting do I want to run. If, if I select all, what it will do is run all the commands on the page. So I'm going to click selection. And I was playing around before, so it's here. But let me, as a matter of fact, let me close this output file and run it again. So run, selection, new output file, great. So here we have it. So you see the output is generated and you see a frequency table. And then you see the statistics that we requested, the mean, mode, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, as well as the median. All right. So as you can see, the, the, the ages for the persons who participated in the survey were between the ages of 18 and 22. And this was a college alcohol study, right? And so all, all the persons who participated are college students. You see that there are 8,606 valid responses, no missing values. We, we ask that it exclude anybody that didn't put their age in. The mean which is the average age, as you can see, is 19.99. However, because it's an average, we don't use, because it's an age, we don't use decimals. The fact of the matter is a number like 19.99 should be rounded up to 20. The mode is also 19, which is the most frequently occurring variable. And if you look, you'll notice that the valid percent, which is for 19, which is 25.7, is the highest number in this cell. You look at the, in this table, in this column, you look at the frequency, you see also that the frequency is 2,212 people that were 19, who said they were 19 years old. So the mode is the most frequently occurring variable. And in interpreting this, we would say that most of the participants were um, 19 years old. The standard deviation, is 1.23 and standard deviation um, speaks to how much the ages um, differ, vary from the average. I can see the standard deviation is 1.23, which is a small number. And so we say that there is not a large variation in age. 
minimum is 18 which is the lowest age maximum is 22 which is the highest age and the median is 20 which is the midpoint of the distribution and if you look at it normally we say that the median is found wherever the frequency the cumulative per percent um approach is 50 percent all right our cross is over 50 percent and the median is a position not a number right so here we see the cumulative percent went from 12.6 to 38.8 but when we got to 20 it moved to 63.21 and what that means is that um when you order all the responses in order of age the, the when you get the halfway mark of all the people in your study that person is 20 years old right that's where the distribution crosses now let us talk a little bit about the table itself these are the values which were the ages that were selected the frequency is the number right of persons who said they were 18 19 20 21 22 this is the conversion into percentage which is going to be this over so this over this equal or multiplied by 100 equal this right this percent is also the valid same as the valid percent and that is because all the responses are valid right all the responses are valid so because there were no missing values we were not we didn't have to separate anything and the cumulative percentage is a running total of all the percentages so for example here in the line where it comes to 18 the cumulative percent is the same as the valid percent when you get to 19 the cumulative percent now becomes 38.3 because what it is is the valid percent for 18 and the valid percent for 19 added together gives you 38.3 you get down to 24 point um to, to to persons who were 20 you add this number you get this you add this number you get that and so the cumulative percent will always add up to 100 percent when you get to the last response okay so how so you how do we utilize cumulative percent we can talk for example about persons who were um if i were to ask what percentage of persons were 60 were 20 years old or younger then what you would do is come to the cumulative percent that is associated with 20 and you would see here that 63.21 percent of all the respondents were either 20 or younger than 20. however if i were to ask you what percentage of respondents were 20 or older what you would have to do is say 100 minus 38.3 which is the persons younger than 20 the sum total of persons who are younger than 20. so 100 minus 38.3 and that would give you um, the answer. If I were to ask you what percentage of persons were under 20 years old, then again, you would have to look at the cumulative percentage that is lower than 20. And so that is 38.3. So that is the how you would run a frequency distribution in this software.